Can you honestly walk into your bedroom and say that it's your sanctuary from the outside world? If not, don't worry, we have some great ideas that you can do yourself. You don't need a professional stylist and you don't need any tools. All you need to do is just watch this. On first inspection, this room is perfectly fine. It's neat and tidy, it's practical with the wardrobe, but it's pretty bland. All I can see everywhere is beige. So wouldn't it be nice to colour it up and add a few designer touches? Now, you might be thinking that all sounds too hard or too expensive, but it really doesn't have to be. I can show you some simple tricks that you can do at home yourself. This is it, don't you? such a great way to transform a room. It's fast, it's affordable and it's easy. In this room the paint is actually in pretty good nick so I'm just focusing on this one wall. I wanted to add some warmth and depth to the room so I've chosen a colour that's really luscious and rich. It's called Antarctic Deep. Look at this wall, it already looks so much better with the new darker colour, so much more modern. So now I'm going to focus on this mirrored wardrobe door. You saw them around a lot in the 70s and 80s and you still see them a lot now, but I've got a really great idea to fix them. How many weeks has it been? Thanks Sean. No worries. Okay, so this shiny metallic finish just isn't going to work for our new scheme for the bedroom but I've got a few simple steps that will totally transform it. And the first thing I need to do is mask the front and back. And I'm sure you know so here I'm using an etch primer, which is specifically designed for shiny surfaces. So for the top coat, I'm using a matte black, and that's because it's really fashionable at the moment. We're seeing it everywhere, from tapware to handles and hardware, and it's going to give the room a really modern feel. How good do these doors look? I am so happy with how they've turned out. Now, you could just leave them exactly as they are, or you could take it to the next level by using these black stained timber slats. And I've placed some double sided tape on the back and I'm just gonna place them straight onto the mirror like that. And they'll end up looking like Japanese shoji screens. Sheer curtains are a really lovely way to add softness in a room, especially in a bedroom. And to cheat having a bigger window, we've used the whole width and whole length of this wall. Okay, how about a really stylish bed head for under $150 and all you need is some MDF and some wallpaper. This was the tallest size I could get, so I've added an extension piece here because I really wanted to create some height behind the bed to create a feature. The next step to bring all of this together is to add in a frame. We're using pre-cut, pre-primed 42 by 42. And the reason for that is to allow some space behind the bed so that you can access a PowerPoint. And secondly, the frame will just provide some support to stop warping. I'm just making some pre-drilled holes and then I'm gonna screw it all together. Part of the build is just the legs. We're using off the shelf pine. This is going to give it the wow factor. It's a beautiful special order wallpaper from Bunnings, and the beauty of this is that it's not like the old fashioned wallpapers that you used to have to dip in the glue. This one, you apply a paste directly to the hard surface and then the wallpaper over the top.
Got that? That's perfect, thanks. Wow, this wallpapered bed head looks absolutely amazing. And to make it pop, we've added this white border around the outside. And it kind of looks like an artwork on the wall now. This botanical print has so many gorgeous colours in it. I've used that as inspiration for the bed linen. So we've got some gorgeous soft pinks, ochre, mustard and some lovely soft greens. For the finishing touches in here, we've used this gorgeous rattan pendant light. And then the final thing, we don't have space for a large bedside table, so we've attached a wall light directly to the bed head. This is great because you don't need the expense of an electrician and it's space saving. I think you'd agree, this is a dramatic transformation. The best part is, absolutely anyone can do this. All you need is a drill, a paintbrush, and a little bit of inspiration. Ooh, ooh, ooh.